What's up for today guys, this is Shivan Magic and we're going to be having some uh, tutorial in playing Dota 2. No, I mean tutorial in using macro keys in Dota 2. So we are basically doing this macro keys in different kinds of heroes, but especially um, heroes that can that will be that will benefit in using mac in microing. For example, Chen and Chantress. Meepo like yeah, also Meepo and maybe Lone Druid for uh, a few macro microing, uh, Tinker for so much items that you're gonna be clicking. So we're gonna be using Meepo right now. So basically, using this macro keys, I will recommend you that you can be, you should be using the quick cast ability, which makes you a lot, um, which makes you capable of doing very easy task so we're gonna be using what the fuck mode and also making up my level up to 25 so that i can max my my level my level so we're gonna be doing this again we're gonna be building some agonim scepter first so that it will be a, a very benefit for me so we're gonna be recording this and also my phone and we have to purchase the Agonim Scepter so we're gonna be doing some control things so that we can okay so everything is now set so I can use everything here so first of all we have this macro keys in the keyboard and I've already preloaded some uh, I've already preloaded the bindings that I will use in the in-game which makes the Meepo poof without delay which makes the clone Meepos poof without delay which means they will poof simultaneously on what place you're gonna poof so for act, for example we have this one and I've binded this with this G3 yes I've, bind, I've binded this binded it in this G3 which is very easy to click and you can actually do it for for example we have level 1 level 3 Meepo which makes it uh, 2 Meepos and you can actually go it for G1 so that uh, because you when you bind you can actually do it the same time for example you have 4 Meepos that G that, that micro key is only capable for that type of many meeples for example you have five meeples you can only use g3 if you have four meeples you can only use g2 so i've only set it to g3 which makes me only capable of doing the macro mic the macro key for five meeples so i haven't set it yet for two three four five i mean four meeples so the max so this is how it works so i set it to so basically Different kinds of bindings are very, uh, they all have the same concept in doing these bindings. So I'm going to be teaching it to you later so you can actually use it in Razer, Corsair, Steel Series, as long as they have micro keys, they have the same concept in doing this such. So we have this all meeples here. So once you have clicked the, the meeple and the G3 macro key, when you click it, so I'm gonna be clicking it and pointing it so you have to use quick cast so that you won't be clicking it very fast. So I, I would recommend you recommend you quick cast. So when I press this, look at the Meepo at the left, all the clones. They will uh, they will do the poof simultaneously, which makes you very capable of killing heroes that and will stop their reaction time i mean they you will kill heroes just before they react on the move that you will do for example let's have a perception here we have a hero here and he doesn't know that you're coming and i'm i have here and i have set the g3 keys right here so i'm gonna be doing it for example, uh, there's some Mirana here. I'm gonna be doing it. So this, I only set it for top W, top W without delay. 
so we're going to be using it right now so um, I'm going to be clicking the G3 and point my mouse on this since a uh, quick cast will only will go to the uh, will set the skill on where you have click or where your mouse is at so the G3 click then poof as you can see the poof the poof here were so fast that they poof at the same time without noticing that it's not like this for example i be doing the normal poofing that i will that i have done for so many times so so as you can see um the poof for a bit like uh maybe uh maybe 0.5 seconds one until they're all there so we're gonna be doing it again as you can see they do that they didn't poof at the same time so unless your hands are faster than 0 0.0001 i mean your fingers is faster than 0 0.001 split second i mean delay so we're gonna be using it again since it's that's the only thing that we can do here so we have this meepo they're channeling uh, point the mouse point the mouse where you want to poof at then channel okay we have to we have another hero here so I suggest that you blink for like uh, one point uh, 1.3 seconds so that from the time you have blinked they will be arriving at the same time so I'm be clicking here you see the time I click the blink dagger it's the time then they poof so you just have to be precise on clicking the poof and the blink so sometimes when you are in the gank and you press this G3 key or macro binded key then you were so uh, you have misclick the G3 so for example you have clicked the G3 here then you have puff here they only blink there and the meepo here is alone which makes the hero the enemy heroes kill you before you blink out so for example let's do it the same mistake again you have click here then you will blink there you're dead unless you can poof very fast so we're gonna be doing it again so something the same concept g3 point where you want then poof okay so you can actually bind it anywhere so if you want the G F g5 for example you have a you have the steel series apex you will have some uh, macro keys here which makes you very capable of doing such different kinds of uh, macros okay so in Chen I'm really not sure how to do to deal with such for example you have different kinds of uh, grips you will actually be doing G1 and G G1 to G6 which makes you OP well, it's really not OP as long as the player is capable of doing such uh, skill. So you can actually. This is just a. These are just some tips for your gaming to be faster and much easier. And uh, using the macro keys on the keyboard and not let them uh, hanging around. Uh, for example, you have a keyboard. You have a razor black widow with macro keys and you have yeah you have this eight thousand pesos or 130 bucks of gaming keyboard but you only do it for uh you only do it for casual gaming you just you just click wasd nothing else and nothing else so this is for you to use everything on your keyboard and do and not waste it for example yeah that's what i said don't you you won't be wasting and doing all the things that you can use in this uh they call this um what do you call this 
the keyboard so you will not be wasting it so once again you can use this the poof so your channeling they will poof at the same time so I'm going to be having a tutorial uh, in doing the key bindings so as you can see okay so just tuning and I'm gonna be doing some tutorial again Okay, what's up for today guys, this is your Magic and again we are going to be doing some uh, macro tutorials and doing some macro uh, assigning, assign key. So we have here my application for the Corsair Raptor K30 which is very cool. So we have this one is the assign keys. So I have this feature to record in the keyboard while using it here so I'm gonna be have so I'm gonna be I will has uh, different kinds of macro keys here so we have here the only key binded is this G3 which has the tab w tab w tab w as you have noticed this I don't know if this is a bug but when you press tab w you will see double tabs but it is only counted as one so for example I have uh, so you're gonna be using the recording so when you record and click the assign tab just tab w as you can see you will see two tab w's well that is only one i don't know if how that bug is going to be so uh as you can see you have you will see delays in the different kinds of uh assign keys so i just do this uh i won't be using some delays here so the delay is actually zero which makes it capable of doing things at the same time as long as you do it yeah okay so i'm going to be assigning it again so so for the mipo we have this tab w fact for you to poof and since you won't be using the click thing you will only use the they call this the quick cast so i don't know how to use the current I mean I don't know how to use the macro keys with the clicks I don't know if you can do tab double click tab double click I don't know it doesn't work here so we're gonna be doing that again we're gonna be using the tab double so we have the tab W so we don't have the delay oh so you should ignore the delay so we're gonna do it again so since you have a binding key, we will ignore delays. Tab W. Wait, I think that's wrong. Okay. Delete, 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 delete. No, we can even record it again. So we have tab W. That's the first tab W, which makes you do the first poof and go to the second meepo and second clone. So which makes the third meepo. So that's the first poof for the second meepo. The second poof, the, the, the tab W. First, you have to use the tab first before the W. Since if you use the W first, the first meepo which has the blink dagger will poof before you blink. So you have to put the tab W first. So we have the tab W. So this one will be the first. Oh shit. I've clicked the G3 in my mouse. So we're going to be doing it all over again. Tab W for the first meepo. First clone or the second meepo who will poof. The next tab W, who will 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 make the third meepo will uh, poof on the direction you will poof. That's the, this is the third tab W which makes the fourth meepo. I mean, one fourth meepo to poof, and this will let the now the next poof will let the last meepo to poof. So just put another tab so that it will click to the first repo well I'm really not sure if that's going to work but this will ensure you that since it doesn't have delay it will uh, do all the poofs and stuff at the same time so if you want delay for example uh, invoker you can actually uh, do all sorts of stuff um, in my in my case I have three profiles which makes me click for every for example I have this uh, G1 for QQQ and change it 
which makes me very it's very hard to change change to macro 2 I can go to www macro 3 for EEE -E -E. then another one for G2 which makes it to uh, Q, Q, e, Q, w, w, and so on for G3 is QEE -E. macro uh, profile 2 for WWW, WQQ, WEE for uh, different kinds so I don't know how would that be but you can diff you can actually experiment for what kind of uh, macro keys that you can do for example uh, another thing is that uh, you can have delays for example for the invoker QQQR uh, for the G1, you will see the QQQR, which makes the which makes him to invoke QQQR invoke the quas. I mean, the cold snap invoke the cold snap QQQR, then E E E E. So once you have invoked the cold f the cold snap, he will say, uh, he will go back to the exhort. Um, Exhort mode, so you will do the damage again. So it's really the it will it will really depend on what you will be doing. So this will be the tutorial of some macro keys in Dota 2 that will be very useful in gaming. So this is Siren Magic. Um, this is this is the tutorial for macro keys in different kinds of hero. So that's all for today. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like if you like it. Uh, dislike if you dislike. Subscribe if you want to win some different kinds of immortal items. So I'm really not sure when I will be doing the giveaway, but I am sure that it's gonna be when I reach the 500 to 1,000 subscription mark. Okay, so that's all for today. Goodbye. This is Student Magic. Oh yeah.